everyone good morning Sierra Leonean this is Samuel Wella of Mela TV show I decided to do this video this morning because when I checked social media for the past two days the news of Khadija has been disheartening heartbroken and really really sad people are posting that they need justice for Khadija personally I don't know Khadija but I am a mother too I have an adopted daughter who looks like Khadija. I have an adopted daughter who is a year older than Khadija. It breaks my heart to see and know what leads to our untimely death. It breaks my heart because people out there are going free for killing innocent people, for violating child's rights. These children have a right too. These children are future leaders. Why are you guys destroying their future? Why are you guys not giving them the chance to do what God has created them to do? I felt the pain in me. Not only for myself, but for every mother out there. That girl doesn't deserve to die the way she died. Personally, I don't know her. I don't. But because I have a daughter that looks like her, a daughter that is even older than her, I'm scared as a mother. It means my daughter too is not safe. Every mother out there, it means our girls are not safe. It's high time the government just take action please on behalf of all the mothers and for all our girls right protection we are begging the government and all people that is involved to bring justice it's high time you guys start giving these rapists the punishment that they deserve they deserve the punishment of death because if you in your right frame of mind can abuse a young girl to the point that leads to our untimely death please we are crying for justice it's not only for Khadija Khadija might be the source to vindicate all other girl childs that are going through abuse and rape out there please leave these children alone they have a right to leave they have a right to grow up. They are the future leaders. If you guys are abusing them, taking away their self-esteem from them, taking away their self-respect from them, how are they going to be the leaders we want them to be? How? To every mother out there, I know it's not easy, but please let us double our effort in taking care of our girl child. Trust no one. Trust no one. It's high time we start giving more time and build more relationship with our children. Let's build the relationship so they can communicate to us whenever something is going wrong with them. They can talk to us. Let us be the solace point for our children. They shouldn't confide in anyone else except us. That's why we are their mothers. Please, mothers, let us just see how best we can protect our girls by ourselves. Trust them with no male. I'm telling you, don't trust them with any male. And let them have the awareness within them. That whenever someone wants to do anything inappropriate with them, they should just let us know. If you know your husband is a drunkard, don't trust your child and just have the thought in you that, oh, he's, he's the father. He cannot think about that. No, don't take the risk. If you want to go out, don't leave your kids with male. Don't trust anybody. Because the people that you don't expect most of the time are the ones abusing our children. Our children are going through abuse. These children are our future leaders. We are begging the government of Sierra Leone. We need justice. Khadija, as I said earlier, 
it's gonna be the sacrifice for all other children please let justice prevail for khadija please we need justice all the mothers we need justice for our girl child and let there be a severe punishment that will serve as an example for others out there when they remember the punishment that they're going to get if they rape then that's going to help reduce the crime rate of rape in Sierra Leone and Africa as a whole. It's so disheartening. It's heartbreaking. So the family of Khadija, I extend my sincere sympathy to you all. I know it's hard because if I can cry for her like this, knowing that she's not my daughter, but I can cry for her without knowing her. How much more you guys? I know you guys are going through a lot. I extend my sincere sympathy to you all and I pray that the faithful soul of Khadija will rest in perfect peace and let justice prevail for Khadija. <laughs> Thank you.